Now, prepare yourself for some weird stuff. We're going to dive into the fascinating world of sea cucumbers, the squishy detritivores that are nature's very own recyclers. These exotic marine creatures might not be everyone's first choice for a pet. But trust me, they've got some unique talents that are worth talking about. Sea cucumbers are colorful little creatures with a digestive tract that's basically just a hole at either end. Their bodies are fat and squishy, covered in leathery skin. And guess what? They breathe through their butts. These amazing creatures have found a way to make the most out of every part of their body, few as they are. Now, you might be wondering what sea cucumbers do with their unique set of skills. Well, they play a crucial role in cleaning our planet's waters. They munch on all the debris found on the seabed and break it down internally, removing all the bad stuff in the process. It's like having little vacuums cleaning up the ocean floor. Believe it or not, sea cucumbers are in high demand in the kitchen, too. They're harvested and traded in many countries. The Asian market, in particular, absolutely loves them. You can find them being sold cooked and dried under all sorts of fancy names. Or, if you prefer a more direct approach, you can just call them sea slugs. Now, here's the fun part. A dried sea cucumber can cost you up to a whopping $1,400 per pound. These squishy delicacies are truly worth their weight. But let's take a step back in time. The tradition of eating sea cucumbers goes way back, more than a thousand years in Asia to be precise. And as demand for these curious creatures grew, so did the need to find them elsewhere. This led to over-exploitation of local fisheries, causing sea cucumber stocks to diminish in many countries. Uh-oh, not good for our little sea cucumber friends. One of the most interesting examples of sea cucumbers is the pink see-through Fantasia. Not only does it look amazing, but it also has this great defense system, where it uses bioluminescence to scare off predators. Thankfully, some brilliant researchers around the world have decided to act. They're on a mission to breed sea cucumbers and replenish the depleted fisheries. They're also exploring how these creatures can be a reasonable food resource and help reduce the damage done by fish farming. In Scotland, for instance, where a team of enthusiastic students started a company for this particular purpose. Their goal? To figure out how sea cucumbers can absorb as much of the bad stuff they can in the water. They might just be the aquatic superheroes we've been waiting for. Meanwhile, in Sweden, Marine biologists are working hard to restore the population of red signal sea cucumbers. These poor creatures have been fished out of local waters, but specialists are determined to give them a fighting chance. They're also exploring how sea cucumbers can fit into seafood cultivation. Their lab is like a sea cucumber daycare, carefully nurturing the next generation of these wiggly wonders. And let's not forget about Canada. Research scientists are focusing on the giant red sea cucumber. These magnificent creatures can grow up to 20 inches long and are perfect for co-cultivation with other species. They're even developing special containment systems that will make it easier to keep sea cucumbers where they're needed the most. Okay, speaking of amazing sea creatures, what about a fish that can fly? Heard that right, we're about to stumble upon a land where fins meet flying, and the ocean becomes a runway for these airborne acrobats. Prepare to be fantastically entertained. Nah, I didn't write that one. So picture this, you're lounging by the warm ocean waters, minding your own business, when suddenly you see a fish soaring through the air like a torpedo. That's right, they are real, and they got some serious style. With their sleek bodies and pectoral fins that resemble wings, they're the high flyers of the sea. Now, you might be wondering, why would a fish take to the skies? Well, it turns out these magnificent creatures have developed this nifty gliding ability as a sneaky trick to escape from their underwater foes. And boy, do they have plenty of enemies. Those guys are all on the lookout for a tasty flying fish snack. When it comes to their diet, these avian fishes are quite the foodies. They chow down on a variety of treats, including the ever-popular plankton. Mm-mm. Who knew tiny floating organisms could be so delicious? 
Now, let's take a closer look at the flying fish family album. We've got a whopping 40 known species strutting their stuff in the sky. And here's a fun fact. All of them have tails that are forked in an uneven manner, with the lower lobe being longer than the upper one. It's like the fishy version of a funky hairstyle. And there's more. Some of these weird flyers even have supersized pelvic fins, giving them the appearance of having four wings. Can you imagine the envy in the fish community when they see these trendsetters gliding by? Okay, now let's get to the nitty-gritty of their airborne adventures. The flying fish takeoff is a sight to behold. First, they gather some serious speed underwater, reaching a zippy 37 miles per hour. That's faster than some highway speed limits. Then, like a rocket ready for blast-off, they angle themselves upward and break the ocean surface, ready to take flight. But they don't stop there. These thrill-seekers can reach heights of over 4 feet in the air. Can you imagine the view from up there? They glide through the sky, covering long distances. That's like the fishy equivalent of a marathon. And here's the best part. When they approach the water again, they can flap their tails and continue their flight without fully returning to the depths. These fishy flyers are also all about the nightlife. Just like partygoers flock to a glittering disco ball, flying fish are attracted to light. Crafty fishermen take advantage of this by setting up canoes with just the right amount of water to keep the fish comfy but prevent them from escaping. Then they add a luring light to the scene, and before you know it, flying fish are caught left and right, supplying a bountiful catch for those lucky fishermen. Don't worry though, these flying fish aren't on the endangered species list. Not yet, at least. The next time you find yourself by the ocean, keep an eye out for these marvelous creatures. You never know when you'll see a flying fish extravaganza. Our next adventure takes us into the quirky world of underwater romance. Picture this. A scene that looks like someone doing the tango with their lunch. Wait, what? No, it's not a throwing up contest, I promise. We're diving headfirst into the jaw-dropping, pun intended, mating ritual of the jawfish. These curious creatures call the coral reefs of the Caribbean Sea and the Western Atlantic home. And boy, do they know how to make a spectacle of themselves! Forget about pickup lines or fancy gestures. These jawfish rely on their unique jaw-based moves to pursue their potential partners. It's like a dance-off, but with their mouths. Not only are these fishy fellas skilled in the art of sand scooping, but they also double as diligent parents. Talk about alliteration! I mean, talk about multitasking! The males take their parental duties to the next level by carrying the precious eggs in their giant mouths until they're ready to hatch. It's like they have their own aquatic daycare center going on. When they're not busy nurturing their offspring, these jawfish transform their mouths into fighting tools. That's right, it's time for the jawfish fighting championship. They go head-to-head, -head, or rather mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, in epic battles of mouth strength and agility. You know the old saying, put your money where your mouth is? Well, these jawfish take it to a whole new level. Whether it's for romance, parroting, or friendly competition, these jawfish show us that sometimes actions do really speak louder than words. They may look like they're having a bad seafood experience, but rest assured, it's just their unique way of finding love and expressing themselves. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.